your weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. Hey there friends, good evening to you. We have another stormy day on Thursday, but we have better weather ahead. It's not going to be as rainy Friday and Saturday, and we may actually have another cold front move in next week. It's still a little too early, but it's looking more and more promising. Maybe not as strong as last week's cold front, but at least it will be something. 75 degrees right now. We have cloudy skies, the sun trying to peek through the clouds. We had rainy conditions all day long. Some spots picked up a tenth of an inch, where some spots picked up five inches of rainfall and then closer to the coast up to about eight inches of rain just today alone. So everyone had at least something today, even if it was just a sprinkle. You could see some lingering showers in southwest Mississippi, the rest of the rain generally along and east of I-55. And so we'll still hold the chance for some showers around between now and about nine o'clock or so. Most rain will come to an end late tonight can't rule out a stray shower overnight, but it's not really until after sunrise tomorrow when we could have some storms develop near the coast and then they would push to our area and push inland as the day goes on. So this is what your night's looking like. Temperatures in the lower 70s, partly to mostly cloudy skies, and then right around lunchtime, that's when storm chances will begin to increase once again. So again, 20 to 30 percent chance for rain overnight. Temperatures 60s, 70s, just very very warm, very humid, and then tomorrow temperatures will warm up into the lower 80s, about a 70% chance for rain, maybe a little lower for some areas, but still going to be pretty elevated. So the weather set up, we have that upper level disturbance, all this Gulf air in place, and so that will lead to a higher rain coverage than just your typical pop up showers and storms. But then Friday, ridging is going to take place over the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to be weak, but that will make sure or that will keep rain, widespread rain from developing at least a little bit, although we will still have an onshore wind, which means again, we still have that moisture in place for some showers. Now that ridge will start to break down a little bit on Saturday, but really by Sunday as another upper level disturbance starts to influence our weather patterns. So that's why rain coverage will start to come back up. Not going to be a washout, but rain chances will be on the high, higher side Sunday and into Monday. So Friday and Saturday about 30% and then Tuesday 30% and if that front does push through we're dry by Wednesday and it would be much much nicer. So again next seven days on average rain totals one to two inches but some spots could pick up over three inches of rain. We saw that today alone but it's not going to be widespread flash flooding. So let's take you through the future track into tomorrow. This is showing you afternoon scattered to numerous showers and storms then tomorrow night we're dry. Friday Notice we're mostly dry as well, but a little bit of green popping up on the future track, which means again, spotty showers. Saturday, as of now, our future track shows us dry, but I still think we could have a few showers in the mix on, uh, on Saturday, mainly afternoon. We have Tropical Storm Victor. We have Major Hurricane Sam. Thankfully, they will not impact the United States, so some good news there. Next name on the list is Wanda. Then we'd have to move to a supplemental list. So again, next seven days, highs will be in the 80s. Warmer on Saturday because of lower rain chances next week. If that front passes, we could have highs near 80 with mornings in the lower 60s. Now it is time for our forecast in this sweet baby is spot. Thank you to Rita for sharing this photo. Great cat napping weather tomorrow, especially during the afternoon evening. So spot, I hope you get plenty of cat naps in tomorrow. Going to be great for that. If you want to see your pet on fur casts like spot, just shoot me an email, aruez at brproud.com. Carly.